to the mess that is my hospital bags. I decided that instead of taking you through each and every one, I'm going to kind of dump everything out and you are going to pack this with me because I still have a whole bunch of stuff that is not packed in it already. I want to preface this with, it's a lot. <laughs> it might, well, it's not a lot to me. It might seem like a lot to others, which is fine. But this is what's going to make me feel prepared. I'm not sure if this pregnancy is going to go like the other ones. It could be that I end up having to have a c-section. Who knows? So I want to be as prepared as possible. I have three main bags. First off is my luggage case, which I bought brand new a couple weeks ago. Um, bring, I'm bringing this because if my husband isn't home, I need to be able to wheel this in and out because my almost 70 something grandmother is not going to be able to pick this up out of the car and carry a whole bunch of bags in with me. So giant travel luggage. Actually this is the uh, medium size, uh, the iFly 24 inch. I'm pretty sure there's like one below and one above it. I think there's a 28 and like a 16. So this was the medium size, which I'm glad that I got because it has everything in there. It has my stuff for labor and delivery. It has my stuff for postpartum. It has baby girl stuff. It has my husband's stuff. It has our toiletries. It has a few odds and ends that I want to take for pictures. So it has all of that in there. In here, this is kind of just like the miscellaneous bag. Um, as well as the snack bag. I have to get a few more snacks and those are for Nate or my grandmother or whoever is with me at the time. And then this is what I use as my purse. So we're gonna go through everything here. I'll explain what I need to explain. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. And let's get started. I have everything now laying around me and then I have my suitcase open and empty. I think we're going to start with the stuff that I will put in this flap up here so that you can see that a little better and then I'll switch it around. Over here, what I had packed was, I want to say it's like the postpartum side. Most if not everything is postpartum. And here, these travel bags I got at Amazon. Uh, I can link them down below. In here, we have Nate's clothes. Over here, I have a pair of shorts and a pair of sweatpants, as well as some two pairs of underwear, a pair of socks, a short sleeve, and a long sleeve shirt. And then he will wear whatever shoes he has on. Um, the socks are also in there in case he doesn't want to wear his shoes in the hospital, then he has socks. <laughs> this shirt going to get zipped up. And stuff quite nicely over on this side. Right on top of that, I had this little cinch bag. And inside, um, I got a little, I guess you could call it like a little care package or something. It's, it's a sample box from Medela. Um, they give you the tender care lanolin, the breast milk storage bag, and then they also have one set of disposable nursing pads, which is awesome because I haven't gotten those yet either. And then off of Amazon, I also got the Boob Ease Organic Nipple Balm. I haven't really tried it yet. I've been using coconut oil, um, but I'm taking that with me and that will also end up going in the diaper bag whenever I switch it over. Next, I have <laughs> the, I guess this would be a medium packing cube. This has all of my stuff in it. So right after birth, I know I'm not going to want to do anything except put on those lovely itsy bitsy teeny weeny mesh bikini panties. Um, they are freaking awesome. I didn't feel like going out and buying some just tossable granny panties. I like using this stuff at the hospital. It's free. <laughs> so I ended up getting this nursing bra. I got this at Target. And I believe 
This is the Auden brand. I thought it was really cute because it goes kind of like with the color scheme of what I wanted. It also has a clip here in the back that you can turn it into a racer rack, which is cool. But this is a nursing bra, by the way. And then I purchased this from Pink Blush Maternity. It was either gonna be this one or the light pink one, and I kind of liked the mauve color better. These plus the uh, mesh underwear are pretty much what I'm gonna be wearing in the hospital unless I actually do feel like getting dressed, which I have options. Always have options. And those options are a pair of Walmart sleep shorts. They're very stretchy and they're very soft and they're comfy. And then that also goes with a nursing tank top. I have another set just like this, but in gray in here, as well as this. I thought this was so cute. I loved the color when I saw it at Walmart. It's Mickey and Minnie Mouse, and it's so adorable and it's so soft. And that's the main thing that I wanted to stress that everything in here is soft and comfortable. This is probably going to be what I number one go for if I'm not going to have this stuff on. Then I also have the gray. Cause you never know what you're gonna feel like wearing. Whether you want something completely different or if you're not even gonna wanna take off your labor and delivery gown. I mean, you're probably gonna wanna take that off because it's gonna be messy and they'll give you another one if you want, but always good to have options. So there is that side, and I guess I could call that the pajama side. And then on this side, I have, this is a black Medela tank, or a nursing tank top. I got it at Target. It's stretchy, so I feel like it will definitely suck in my postpartum belly, which is good, because you definitely do still have that extra skin there. I have a pair of plain underwear. They are the granny panty kind. The pads will definitely work. And then I have ooh, a pair of sweatpants, and they're loose and they're comfortable. I actually tried these on at my six month mark. So I know that they will definitely fit postpartum. And that is this bag. And it all fits really well in here. So that now goes in here. And as you see, that side's almost full. And then I have this lovely little Jujube Be Organized, I believe it is. This is the large, and it has all of Evelyn's stuff in it. This is her picture outfit. It has, hi, I'm new here. It's the long sleeve onesie, and they have the mitts already on the sleeves, and then a little hat with her name on it. And then I also packed a pair of socks too because don't want to get her feet cold. Don't want her feet getting cold. And these have already been, already been washed, so I am confident and happy enough that I can just throw it in here then. Going home outfit, I usually take two. Two going home outfits, only because I don't know what size she will be. Right now she's at four pounds, so she could still fit into newborn. But if she doesn't, she also has a zero to three month. They both are pieced together like this. They have a top knot hat. This one is gray. My sister got this for her when she first found out that we were pregnant. And it has the flip over mitts as well as the feet. And I love it because it also has the zipper instead of buttons. And then I also got this one from Cloud Island. This is the zero to three month. It has the fold over mitts as well as the feet and it zippers from bottom to top, which I thought was really cool. And this was from Target. And then it has the top knot hat as well. 
so cute. Also in here I have a pair of baby nail clippers. These used to be Dakotas and this is just in case Evie comes out with nails that are a bit too long and can scratch her even through her clothes. The other side of this little pack I have swaddles as well as hats and I think there is one headband. I have them with hats because I know that I want to get pictures taken of her and I'm probably going to want to take pictures of her at the hospital with a hat on and or something cute or a headband. So that was awesome. These are from Etsy. I can link the shops down below. I just thought these were really cute prints and this will go really, really well with my robe, which I thought was really cool. So this one I'll probably use for pictures more than anything. And it is huge. So that is the first one. I'll roll up, I'll fold it up now. And that one comes with a turban instead of a top knot hat, which is really cute. I'm not sure if I will use the turban or not, but I know if I don't, I will definitely be using the headband. It is so adorable. And then I think instead of them using the hospital swaddle and the hospital hat, I'm going to see if they will use this for me so that she's just in something that I am comfortable with her being in. And this is a very, very soft top knot hat. And then another giant stretchy swaddle. It is even bigger than the other one. And it's dark, so after they get her cleaned up, even if there's still stuff on her or whatnot, it'll be a-okay. So that was on top on that side. That is what is in Evelyn's little travel case. And that just goes here up at the top. And I think for that side that is done. So I will take this flap and zip it as soon as I can find the zipper. I love the hardware on this bag though. It's so cute. It's also rose gold and the outside is also rose gold. So it's adorable. In this little mesh pocket here, I had a, um, a dollar store just mesh laundry bag for anything that we need to bring home. Actually, I have that wrapped around this. This is her letter board for when she's born. That kind of gets wrapped up in here so that it doesn't get anything knocked off of it. And it's just slipped right in there. Alrighty, now we are at the other side. Uh, in here, there is a little flap, and it has a zipper pocket of its own. I had debated, ooh, I have a pair of socks here. like quick and easy to put back in and those were just the extra socks for while we're at the hospital for her okay so the next pocket is this flat pocket right here it has a little zipper area and in there I'm going to put Nate's medicine just in case he needs it while we're there there's Tylenol as well as extra strength pain reliever in case he gets a headache because of dry air you never know I also have my prenatal vitamins just in a little baggie and that's enough for three days because that's usually how long I'm in there. It all depends on if I take my medicine the day that I go in, if I don't, or it's early enough that we go in and I'm in labor for a really long time, then I have everything that I need. Um, something I know that I'm going to need desperately, I always feel so dry when I'm in at the hospital. So I have uh, regular lotion, which this is the Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy Stress Relief Eucalyptus and Spearmint. This is body lotion. It's made with natural essential oils. And then I also got the ham cr hand cream too, so that I can rub it on my hands 
um, or at least on my palms where I know I'm going to feel dry. I'm running out of breath here, guys. And I know there is still more room in here, so I have an extra chapstick. You guys are going to laugh. I have so many chapsticks in my purse that it isn't even funny. But I'm still going to stick this in here and then there's yet another one in our toiletries bag. So I will definitely be a-okay on chapstick for at the hospital. <laughs> Nate and I both wear contacts, or at least I usually wear contacts. I need to go and get my prescription refilled. Um, but I have one a case for each of us here. You guys will see the solution for that later. And they're small enough that I can just throw in the side pocket in case while we're there in the hospital waiting for their delivery, if we want to take them out or whatnot. So that's all that's in there. Okay, so in this large area, I am bringing two towels. There's two reasons for these towels. One reason is in case my water breaks while I'm at home. I am going to have one of the, I guess they're always extra heavy duty night pads. I'm going to have one of those in case my water does break or it breaks on the way to the hospital. I know it's not going to catch everything if it does break on the way to the hospital. So we have towel to put down in the car if we need to. And then at the hospital, they have those paper thin towels that I am just not a fan of. And I know my husband's not a fan of. So when I do end up taking a shower, because I know for a fact I'm going to want to take a shower after giving birth, that we have another towel that we can share if we need to. And if I end up not using the first one, he can always use it if he doesn't want to use the towel after me. And that goes in there. We're getting down to the wire, you guys. Oh gosh. Okay, over here next to it, I had this pile of stuff. On top, I have this little bag that has my sleep mask in it. It's a cooling one, so you can stick it in the fridge or the freezer and it'll cool down and you can put it over your eyes and it helps with puffiness. And also in here, I have earplugs because I have a really, really, really tough time sleeping when the machines are keeping track of your heart rate and the baby, monitoring the baby and all of that. So there's all those beeping noises. So earplugs, I have those in there. There's an extra pair in here in case Nate does want some. You never know. In this bag, this goes with this lovely thing right here. This has a couple of different pens. By a couple, I mean like most of my favorite and some of my color pens as well as a few post-it notes, just in case. Because you get a whole lot of information thrown at you in the hospital, even while you're in labor, and you can't, I can't remember it all. You might be able to, but I can't. So I have that. This is, um, instead of getting one of those accordion folders, I got this, because I love to take notes, I love to write things down, so it has a bunch of paper in the back but then it also has a bunch of folders in the front where I can stick any information that I get from the hospital about EVs, vaccinations, about anything else. I can stick it right in here. That'll end up going on top of everything else. Whew. Labor and delivery stuff. There is this lovely, lovely robe that I got. I was so excited that I was able to get this. This is a Baby Be Mine um, labor and delivery gown. It has the snaps at the top on both sides for easy breastfeeding or in case they need to check something up here and they need to get it out of the way. It has buttons all the way down the back for easy epidural access. And then the front is cinched in the front up um, right underneath your boobs as well as it has, I want to say like a wrap style bottom because you can pull away both sides and expose the belly for fetal monitors, the ones that they strap around your belly and you can't go anywhere. But I really, I'm really, really glad that I got this. It's so cute and pretty. It's pretty, like I like, like the hospital ones are fine, 
but I'd like to have something that's more comfortable and soft and isn't scratchy. And that's just me, but I'm glad that I have this. Next, I wanted to show you the socks that I just recently got in the mail, which is why I'm redoing this video over again, is the Baby You're Worth It socks, the letters and um, other decorations on them are the non-slip. And I like that they're white and they're low ankle socks because before I had those, I was going to take some of my kids, which would have worked, you know. But I like that I have something cute and pretty. <laughs> and then in this bag right here, this has my slippers in case I need to walk around the hospital. And then it also has our shower shoes. I got them a size larger than what I am because that's what Nate is. And so these were like 67 or no, 97 cents at Walmart or something like that. It was real cheap. And that will go right here, stuffing upside that. Next, we have something that I'm going to need to switch over onto the pillow that I'm taking. I have the waterproof pillowcase cover as well as my blush pillowcase that I stole from my kids. <laughs> I think it'll go really well, or at least it'll look cute. Next, in here I had, I believe these just stuffed in here, the Honest Designer Collection White. So I have those in here just in case I wanna wipe myself off, my face, my arms, whatever. Um, after you get the epidural, you aren't able to get out of bed, so. And then I have the extra letters for the letter board. Next I have our cinch bag, which is another cinch bag, which is our tech bag. In here we have a 10 foot extension cord. It has three different um, plug-in points and you just never know where your outlets are going to be. I have some headphones for my phone in case I want to watch YouTube videos on there. Charger block, Bluetooth speaker, travel charger, really, really, really long charging cord. That's for my phone. Nate has his own and he'll have to bring that with him because he has it with him out in the truck right now. And then I have this uh, double charger thing that plugs into here. I think that's everything in that bag. The next bag to go in is my toiletries bag. This might seem familiar from a previous video. Um, up here I have two things of scope mouthwash, two, uh, two small travel size toothpaste and two small travel size toothbrushes. One of each came in a pack from I think Target from their travel section. Here in the middle I have hair ties. I have the individual Neutrogena makeup wipes which are so cute and adorable and little. And I told you earlier that I also have another chapstick in here. Up front here in this little zipper pouch area, I have a pack of 30 Q-tips. Uh, I got those off of Amazon in like a pack of eight of those. So it was pretty reasonably priced. We have a small hairbrush. We have dry shampoo, and then we have two travel size deodorants, one for me, one for Nate, Lufa, my cellular water. These little things came in this case from Amazon, and I can link that down below. Face toner and face moisturizer, as well as, there's a couple of these, there's body wash, face wash, shampoo, and conditioner, and all of them are in travel sized containers like this. Don't feel like getting all of them out. They are so, not, well they're not hard to put back in, but it's just annoying. And then I have a little hand sanitizer with a pump, not a spray. And all of that fits in here really, really well. That gets zipped up, flipped over. Oh, it also has like a little hanging thing where you can hang them on the door. 
in the back. It also has a pocket as well. So that will go in here. It like fits. <laughs> so good. Okay, this is my everything else bag, I guess, for in here. Um, it mostly has makeup in it. Okay, so as a disclosure, all of this stuff stays in here. It doesn't go back into the bathroom. It stays in this bag until after I've delivered. Um, that way I know that everything is packed and ready to go and I don't have to add last minute things to it. Extra hair ties, again. More wipes. This is my eye solution, eye contact solution that goes in here as well as my Gentle Detangle Milk, the Whole Blends Garnier. I haven't tried this yet, but I've been told it's really good. On top of that, I have a portable mirror. This mirror can prop itself up, so to have that on my little stand to do my makeup is really nice. Uh, in here, I got the Tarte BB Tinted Moisturizer. Uh, I just got a sample of it. If I feel like it in the hospital and I want something light, I will use that. If I don't want something light, I will be using my Anastasia of Beverly Hills uh, Porcelain Stick Foundation. And I said porcelain because that's my shade. Moisturizer, primer, and setting spray. Um, I got a little sample size of each from the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea collection. And that was in at Sephora as well. And at Walmart, I got this Eco Tools um, Beauty Blender sponge. And it has a traveling case, so in case it is still wet, it won't get everything else in the bag wet. And then I have the Cabral Benef by Benefit Eyebrow Gel. I mean, I don't know. It's small, it's compact, it's adorable. It's going in. I also have two of the Bare Minerals um, lipsticks. One is Smooch and the other is Hemp. Um, I also have L'Oreal Paris Impaliable Full Wear Concealer and this is in the shade Porcelain 320. That's going in. Taking a blush with me, the NYX Professional Makeup All Away We Glow. I have the e.l.f. Flawless face brush that's going for that and then the beauty shop I got this in at Marshall's as well it's just a really compact set of eye brushes and then in case I want to set my under eye or set whatever I have a little bit of pressed powder and I think this is where I'm going to throw in my eye case my eyeglass case Urban Decay Naked Basics palette love it I've wanted it for so long and that will be for eyes, in case I just want to throw some color on my eyes. As well as um, putting just a little bit of liner on there. Uh, the only thing I don't have in here that I know that I'm going to want is mascara. I am trying out a new mascara right now, but if I like it, I will end up throwing it in. And then I also have this black hand towel for when I apply my makeup and need to wipe off any brushes. And that fits right in there. That goes on top. This hooks here. That comes over. And this zips up because it's extremely cooperative with me. <laughs> Everything fits. All of that stuff that I just showed you fits right in here. Some stuff I know I'm going to want at the hospital. Baby book. Then there is this Vava Nightlight. because at night, you know, it's either bright with the regular room lights on or you have to uh, leave the bathroom door open. And all of this stuff is coming from the extra bag. In here, I don't know if I'm gonna bring both of them, but I know I'm going to bring one. I got this Hakka set off of Amazon. That'll go in there. Okay, so in the bottom, I have the bag that I would have used if I hadn't been bringing so much. Um, I usually use a duffel bag, but this is one of the Target uh, Weekender bags, which is works out perfectly for the stuff that I'm going to end up bringing home from like all the freebies and goodies and stuff. 
that you get because if you open something, it's yours. The hospital cannot reuse it. Uh, when we get the car seat, I just have this in here for now. When we get the car seat, I have the newborn insert and then two straps for the shoulder straps as well as this nursing cover slash car seat cover which I thought was really cute because it goes along really well with the inserts that are that'll go into the car seat so that'll end up going in the car seat or on the car seat whenever I get it in like I said before this bag is going to be for snacks so I've already got some Nature Valley Crunch uh, granola bars Nate loves his oolong tea so I'm packing a few of those for him just in case he wants to make tea there and they don't have what he wants Passy Pod by Jujube. I cannot wait. Um, my hospital gives you two pacifiers, if I remember correctly, and they smell like vanilla and I love them. So they will end up going in here. I'm also bringing this. These are the Huggies Preemie diapers. These are not open at all. And these are for babies up to six pounds. In case she is really tiny, at least I know that I have these. If not, I can always donate them to the hospital because babies are there every day. And that will go in there. And then what else will go in here is the extra snacks and drinks and stuff. As well as this. Welcome visitors for the health of our new baby girl. Please take the time before cuddles to wash your hands, sanitize your hands, Ask before touching and please do not kiss the baby. Your germs are too big. Thank you for your understanding, Tara and Nate. I know I'm probably not gonna be able to take this frame in there, but uh, I can take the picture out. And if I need to, double stick tape it to the wall or the door. And that is in there for now as well. Uh, one of the last things for this bag, my case for my vlogging camera, my everything camera. Uh, it has an extra battery, the charger stuff, and any cleaning stuff that I need in there, as well as a white balance card because you never know what the lighting is going to be like in the hospital. This is also going to be with me. It is the Bendy Grip tripod. So that is going to be in there as well. Those are the two main bags. I have my trusty notebook here. I know that Nate and I both need uh, extra contacts to go in the bag. Uh, he's probably going to want to bring his 3DS and that needs a charger. Um, his laptop and that'll need a charger and his phone will need his charger as well. Possibly a pillow and blanket for him. We live 30 minutes away from the hospital so if he needs to he can definitely come back and grab a pillow and blanket. Um, and then I don't know if I'm going to bring my DSLR camera or not. It's up in the air at the moment because I can always take pictures with my phone. So up next is my last bag, pretty sure it's my last bag. I'm pretty sure this is the bag that I will be taking. This is the Jujube Mini Be Right Back. And this is what I'll be using as my purse. Uh, there is one inside pocket, which is in the back, the top pocket that most purses have. And in there I have just a little mini wallet with all of our insurance information that the hospital might need. I already pre-registered, but you never know. I am also going to stick in here my mini planner. This is what I use on a regular basis to keep track of what I'm doing. It also has a pen and a pencil stuck in here, which also is helpful. I also have my wallet, which has so much change in it. I'm gonna put a $40 in here as well so that we can go to the vending machine if we want to. I'm pretty sure the one at our hospital also ha takes cards, so it's really not that big of a deal. I'm bringing a mini notebook. You never know. Not to mention I always have it in here in case I need to jot something down. I also keep in here some gummy snacks, which they are so good. I got those at Marshall's. Also what I keep in here are three hour mints. Um, I know that in the hospital, I'm only allowed to have hard candy and possibly like jello and applesauce and soft stuff like that. Um, they also have ice pops in there as well. But just in case I have those in there, 
Um, in this case, I have a bunch of pens and stuff, but I also have a few other lipstick choices which have just been in here forever. So I usually don't take them out just in case I want them as I'm out. Next to go back into the bag, deodorant. I cannot leave the house without this. Um, I usually have Nate's in here too, but I think he took it with him this week. I'm not sure. I'll have to get him another one. But I, I never leave home without deodorant. I also have a pack of extra long lasting flavor refreshers, tropical mist gum. I'm gonna tell you right now, they don't last long, but they still do the job. Also in here, I have the Hello Bello uh, Apple Blossom Hand Sanitizer Spray. Nate picked out gum the other week and he threw it in my purse. So that's his and still in there. And then I also have my Promethazine in my bag and I take it every morning but at least I know where it's at. It's in my bag in case I have to leave in the morning for some reason I don't get a chance to eat right away and take this, then I can always take it while I'm out. So that is in the big part. In this part, I explained to you guys earlier that I have an issue <laughs> with losing chapstick all the time. So I ended up using the front pocket to store any and all chapstick that I could find, as well as a few other things. So we have the Lip Smacker Dr. Pepper, Burt's Bees Pomegranate, uh, Burt's Bees Pink Grapefruit, Soft Lips Watermelon, Equate Beauty Pear and Coconut, and the EOS, pretty sure this is Strawberry. I like that one a lot. Those I literally just drop in here and whenever I want one, just grab bag it. I also have an extra pair of headphones in here because if Nate doesn't bring his, he has the other pair that's in the bag, and then I have these. And then this little compact that I got from the Dollar Tree. Dakota likes playing with it while we're out sometimes. And then I also have my inhaler, and that is in that front pouch. And then I usually just clip my keys to the top. So that is everything in there. That, you guys, that is my hospital bag. Oh goodness. I think my camera hates me right now because it's probably overheating and my back is killing me and I'm tired and I'm hungry, but I have it done. It's all there. I can go through everything here and tell you that there is literally, I can count on my hand, one hand, the stuff that is missing. I do plan on bringing a boppy, but I'm getting that for my shower. So can't have that with it, but just in case. I can always just use my pillow. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any suggestions for um, anybody else who's watching or if you have any experiences that you wanna share that you recommend you don't take something from my list or you would definitely take something and you have an experience to share, please put it down in the comment section below. I'm sure other moms who are looking at this video, I watch a ton of these. Um, anybody else who's watching this video will definitely be happy to see it and take it into advisement when they are making their own hospital bag. Whew, I am tired. Now I have to have somebody carry all this stuff downstairs to put it in the car soon. Oh goodness. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching and until the next video, I am going to get something to eat and drink and I will see you then. So, correction, I probably will bring a pillow and blanket for Nate and just leave it in the car. Um, we have a twin size, just a regular down blanket that he can use. And usually he brings his own pillow back home. But if he doesn't, we have extra pillows in the closet too that I can just shove in the car and leave in there as well. Um, in case my... In case Nate isn't here, my grandmother is going to be coming to get me. And I guess I kind of touched on this earlier. That's why I have the giant suitcase here, which I'm okay with because it rolls real easy. This is all.